Hello, 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 hello. How are we doing, cake I know. How is your day going? I hope great. Good to hear. Okay, we started a topic yesterday, which was um, secrets of a long-lasting marriage. We discussed two secrets yesterday. Today, we're gonna discuss two more secrets of the long-lasting marriage. So if you wanna hear the two more secrets, stay tuned. all right right okay good to see you again so now we're gonna discuss the two secrets which is yesterday we talked about two which was um, putting God in the center of your marriage and communication yes so today the third one we're gonna discuss is respect now women getting here yes if you know you're a woman, you're a girl, you are a mother, you're anything female, get in here. Guys, stay too. All right, talking about um, respect, you guys know it all. If you do not have respect for one another, there's going to be a problem. Sometimes when you talk to guys, you know, you know, people that are having problems in their relationship, part of the problems they have is respect. The guys will tell you now, they do not have respect for them. You insulting your husband doesn't necessarily mean, you know, using um, verbal words like idiot, get away, this, that, 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 that. No. There are so many ways we disrespect our husbands. When you go out there, when you go talking about your husband out there, what does that mean? Saying bad things about him, what does that mean? That is disrespect. Remember, the way you present your husband out there, that is the same way people will take him. If you respect your husband out there, if you honor your husband, if you carry your husband like a uh, egg, People will also help you carry him like the same apple, the same egg. But if you treat him like trash out there, if you disrespect him, you know, what do you expect from people? Disrespect. And that really, you know, that really weighs men down. They hate it. Men, the same thing applies to you, but the majority of the people that disrespect others are women. But men too do it sometimes. You want to do something, your wife will, you know, style, style, tell you, oh no, don't do it like that. You might want to show that you're a man. You see that you just tell her because get out of my way. Or you just do one thing, or you will even ignore her. And most times, after ignoring, you still come back to do that thing she asked you to do. Because she 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 knows that that's a better way of doing it so please i want to advise everybody including myself remember i told you guys this marriage thing is a learning process we have to keep learning you know we, can, we have to keep when you test the soup or you test the marriage and it's not as sweet as you want what do you do you add maggi no cubo not uh, was those uh, white maggi name it at car for my son model you add you 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 add salt to it you add maggi you may you know spice it to taste let it have taste so this is part of it respect is one of the major things that will make our marriage last respect is the major one of the major things that will make our marriage last Placing God in the center of your marriage, communication, respect. The fourth one we're going to treat is forgiveness. Yes, women, learn to forgive. Yes, learn to forgive. Yes, let me talk. Learn to forgive your husbands. 
Yes, your husband, your husband. Sometimes when people ask, when I had two boys before I had my girl, when people ask me how many children I have, I tell them I have three boys, which includes my husband. Yes, three boys, my husband and my two boys. Now I have three boys and a girl, my husband, my two sons, and my daughter. Because men behave like children sometimes. They think straight. If you keep looking at the way your husband behaves, the way he treats you sometimes, you know, I mean, nobody will be, nobody will be married. Or all of us would have been out from our marriages. But you have to learn to overlook. When he does things to you, ne, forgive you. Oh, forgive you. Oh, ball. Oh. Okay? Yes. Men, so even even some men too are, are, are like that. Your wife will do one thing to you. We just say one thing jokingly. You become angry. In way. You will not want to talk to her. Keep malice like women. No. We have to learn to forgive and to forget. Sometimes it's hard. Depending on what he or she did to you, it's hard to for forget. But since you really, really, really love with love the person with your whole heart, it should be easy for you to forgive. Yes, I'll tell you the truth. Sometimes, depending on the gravity of the, the, the whatever they did, the offense or whatever they did, it will be hard to forget, but it's easier to forgive. So, be cool. This is the number four major thing. Imagine a couple that got married like 40 years ago. Recently, we, I went to my friend's house, you know, and then it happened that I was there when her parents were having some kind of misunderstanding. This woman started remembering, telling us things that her husband did to her when she newly got married. That was like, that is something years ago, 40 years ago. Can you believe that? You still had those things in mind. You still did not forgive. Yes, I understand the fact that sometimes, sometimes we forgive, but because we didn't forget, anytime the men do anything to us or anytime your wife do something to you, you tend to remember those things she did before. You remember all that he did before. But please, for the sake of the love that we share, remember it's for better for worse. We, yes, we all took that out. Yes, we did. So be cool. I want my marriage to last. I want to live with my husband forever. And I want you yes you you yes you you that i'm talking to mm -hmm. i want your own marriage to last i want you to be there forever till we go yes and then one other piece of advice yes this thing, it has it, it's not gonna end here in this video this is the part two we're still going to have part three because we need to break these things down so that we can understand, so that we can follow, and then we can, you know, use the guidelines and see. Trust me when I tell you, if we use these guidelines, it will work. These are the same guidelines our parents used and it worked for them. But our generation now, everybody, nobody wants to hear. Man does not want to hear. Woman does not want to hear. So who we hear? Is it the air that we hear? Or the walls? Or who we hear? Yes, so please. The reason why I'm breaking these videos down is I want us, anytime we watch it, we digest it, you know? And then practice it. Let's take it one at a time. I don't want to be too fast listing out everything and ba 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 ba. We end the video. That's not the reason why we're here. The reason why we're here. The reason why I'm doing these videos is for us to practice, learn, and practice. 
and trust me you will thank me later yes this works it works so please my brothers my sisters especially those my generation and you know those that are about to get into this uh, 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 union called marriage please 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 do practice this if possible as I, as you're watching this video just be writing down all that i've said remember my instagram page is up here we'll have the comment section here if you don't want anybody to see what you wrote you can send me um, a dm on instagram i am here to talk about anything i am here to talk to you you can call, talk to me in confidence. As a matter of fact, if you send me a message on Instagram, if it, ha if it gets to the level that I have to give you my number to call me, I will give you my number or I can call you. We are family. That's the reason why I keep reminding you guys that I love you, I love you, I love you. The four secrets to long lasting marriage that we have discussed here are putting God in the center of your marriage, communication, respect and forgiveness yes these are the four that we have discussed yes so in our next video we are going to discuss two more okay let's end this video here remember that i love you remember that i love you from the bottom of my heart and do not forget to subscribe like and comment all right my people i will see you in my next video